an object of mass m slides down an inclined plane at constant speed draw the free body diagram what is the equation of motion assume non zero friction 200 level you have mu k and that is the coefficient of kinetic friction so it is coming down at constant speed if it is coming down at constant speed you expect the acceleration to be zero so if it is coming down at constant speed acceleration constant speed implies acceleration is zero if acceleration is zero net force is zero if net force is zero force to the left equals force to the right so what are the forces acting on the mass the forces acting on the mass are don't forget the gravitational force always acts vertically down but we can replace the gravitational force that acts vertically down with the squiggly lines, the components. This is W parallel. And this is W perpendicular. And this is normal force. It is coming down at constant speed. So what can you say about W parallel? That force along the horizontal is equal to zero. So that means what? Force to the left equals force to the right. So W, the parallel component of the gravitational force, balances the force of friction. OK? Net force along the vertical is equal to zero. So what does that give us? Normal force equals W perpendicular. All right, that is at 100 level. At the 200 level, what do we know? Alright, so here is the mass. And again, we have the squiggly lines. This is W parallel. And W perpendicular. And we have the normal force. And we have the force of friction. Okay. So net force along the horizontal is equal to zero. It is coming down at constant speed. So acceleration is zero. Net force is zero. So you can say W parallel equals force of friction. W parallel is actually mg sine theta, where theta is the angle that the inclined plane makes with the horizontal and that is equal to force of friction. Okay. Net force along the net force along the vertical is equal to zero. So what can we say? We say normal force equals W perpendicular and that is equal to mg cos theta. And don't forget the maximum value of force of friction is given by mu times normal force. And that is mu times mg cos theta. Mu times mg cos theta. So here is the expression for, all right, 
for the force of friction. So these two will give us mg sine theta is equal to mu mg cos theta. You can cancel mass, you can cancel g. So you get sine theta equals mu cos theta or mu equals sine theta over cos theta and that is tan theta. And this is George Matthew signing off. Good luck. <laughs>